If I give you five seconds to find the square root of 13924, that is 13,924. Can you do that? Okay, let's pause and wait for five seconds. Time is up. We are you able to get the solution? If not, then this method that I'm about to show you is going to give you this answer within five seconds. Now let's go ahead and do that and do that. The first thing you need to do is you need to know your squares from one to twenty. This is what I mean. This is one. One squared will give you one. Two squared will give you four. Three squared will give you nine. Four squared is sixteen. Five squared is twenty-five. 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is uh, 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, and 10 squared is 100, okay? Now, it is easier to list this one. It's basic knowledge. But when you get to from 11 squared, 12 squared, 13 squared, 14 squared, 15 squared, 16 squared, 17 squared, 18 squared, 19 squared, and 20 squared. This might be a bit harder for some of us, okay? Yeah, it might be a bit harder for some of us. So I'm going to give you a shortcut on how you can get the squares of these ones. Remember, this is just the basic of what I'm about to explain here. Now, 11 squared is 1 to 1. We all know that. Now, I want you to notice something. We added 21 to get what? 1, 2, 1. Now, we keep adding 2 to whatever we've added before. This is what I mean. We added 21 to get 1, 2, 1. 21 plus 2 will give us 23. Plus 2 is 25. Plus 2 is 27. Plus 2 is 29. Plus 2 is 31. Plus 2 is 33. Plus 2 is 13, 35, right? Plus 2 is 37. Plus 2 is 39. Let's stop here because we may not even use everything. Now, we added 21 to get 121. So, let's add 23 to 21 to get the next one. Do you understand? So, 121 plus 23 will give us 144. So, you can see that 12 squared is 144. So, we've added 23. Now, the next thing we are going to add is 25. Add 25 to this to get the next number. Now, 144 plus 25 will give us 5 plus 4 is 9 and 4 plus 2 is 6. So we have 169, which is correct. Now we are going to add this 27. We have 9 plus 7 is 6. Uh, carry 1. We have 9 and we have 1. 196. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Now we are going to add what? 27 to this to get um sorry which one did we add last yeah we added 25 to this to get 169 and we added 27 to this to get 196 so we are going to add 29 now to this to get the next one so 196 plus 29 9 plus 6 will give us 5 carry 1 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 is 12 so we are going to have 2 carry 1 2 2 5 which is correct. We've added this, so let's cancel it so that we not be we not make mistake. Now we are going to add thirty one now. So two two five plus thirty one will give us two five six. All right. So we've added thirty one. Let's add thirty three. Two five six plus thirty three will give us two eight nine. Yeah. Now two eight nine plus thirty five. Nine plus five is fourteen. Carry one. Eight plus three is eleven. Plus one is twelve. Carry one again. So we have three, two, four. We've added 35. Now let's add 37. Four plus seven is 11. One, one, carry one, right? So we have two plus one is three plus three is six. So we have three, six, one. Now let's add 39. So nine plus one. Okay, let's just round it up. This is 400, right? Even if you add, you still get 400. So this is how I myself remember this, even though some are very easy. 11 squared is 1, 2, 1, 12 squared is 1, 4, 4, 13 squared is 1, 6, 9, and 15 squared is 2, 2, 5. Then 14 squared is the rest. You change this and this to get. But from here, it might be difficult for some of us. So this is how I fix that up. All right. Now back to the main thing. To the main gist, let us start with the smallest number. We are asked to find the square root of 324. 
Okay, so square root of 3, 2, 4. We are going to take note of the last digit. The last digit here is 4. So it simply means that the answer we are going to get is going to end with 4. It's going to end with either 2 or 8. Why? Because these are the two squares that the answers give us a number that ends with 4. Notice that this ends with 4 and this ends with 4. That is 2 squared and 8 squared. So it means that our answer is going to end with either 2 or 8. Now, that should not bother us. Alright? Why? It shouldn't bother us because we have a solution for that. Now, we are going to cancel the first two digits. After that, you have three remaining, right? Now, these three, what number squared? We give us a number that is close to three, but no more than three. That number, when you square it, it gives you a number that is close to three, but no more than three. And the answer is one, because one squared is one. But if we choose two, two squared is four, and four is greater than three. So the answer is one. So definitely, our answer is either 12 or 18. Now, how do we know if the answer is 12? or 18. Remember that what we have is 1, right? This 1. After 1, we have 2. So you multiply 1 times 2 is 2. Now you compare 3 and 2. Since 3 is bigger than 2, then we take the bigger number. 3 is bigger than 2, then we take the bigger number. That means the answer is 18. Yes. As mean the answer we got, as mean this 3 is less than what we got, we take the lower number. So square root of 3, 2, 4 is 18. You can press your calculator. You are allowed. Now let's check the second one. The second one is square root of 4, 4, 8, 9. So we choose again. We concentrate on the last digit, which is 9. What number squared will give us a number that ends with 9? We all know that 3 squared is 9. So we start with 3. So it means that our answer will end with either 3, then another number should be 7. How do I even figure that out? Have you noticed that when you have 3, the number, the next number, when you add it, you're supposed to get 10. Just like previously, we have 2 and 8. Because 2 squared will give us a number that ends with 4. 8 squared will give us a number that ends with 4. 2 plus 8 will give us 10. So immediately you get the first one. Just add whatever it is to make it up to 10. That should be the second number. Yes. That is how I remember that as well. All right. Now, so it means that the answer we are going to get here, we end either with 3 or seven. Now we cancel the last two digits. If you are, if you actually find this video interesting, please click the subscription button, turn your notification bell because we upload interesting videos every day. Yes, we do. So always tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. You upload like two, three times daily. So always tune in at your new, at your leisure time to watch our new uploads and then give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video thank you very much so back to what i'm saying it means our answer will end with either three or seven now we have cancelled the last two digits we have 44 what number squared will give us a number that is close to 44 but no more than 44 it shouldn't be seven seven squared is 49 which is greater than 44 so it should be six six squared is 36 so it means that our answer is either 63 or 67. Now, how do we know whether it is 63 or 67? Remember, after this 6, you have 7, right? So, 6 times 7 is 42. So, we compare. Notice that 44 is larger than 42 again. So, because it's larger, we are going to pick the larger number. So, it simply means that square root of 4489 will give us 67. You can also press your calculator. Okay, now let's solve the next one. Remember, we have a bigger number, which is a five-digit number, which is different. A different approach will be taken here. Okay. Now let's solve this square root of nine six zero four. So square root of nine six zero four. We notice that what we have as our end, and uh, as the last digit is four, and it's going to be two squared, which is four, or eight squared, which is sixty-four. Right. So we have either two or eight. 2 squared will give us 4, 8 squared will give us 64, both of them ends with 4. Alright, now this means that our answer will end with either 2 or 8, so we cancel the last two digits. Now, which number squared will give us a number that is close to 96, but no more than 96, and that should be 9, because 9 squared is 81, but 10 squared is 100, which is more than 96. So it means that our answer is either 92 or 98. Now we check, how do we know if it is going to be 92 or 98. Now remember that 9, after 9 we have 10, 
and 9 times 10 is 99. Let's compare. 96 is larger than 90. So because 96 is larger than 90, it means that we pick the larger number, which is 98. So it means that square root of... Now, let us talk about the largest number here. Square root of 13924. Now, when you have five-digit number, then definitely your answer should be coming from this side. Yes, this is what I mean. You are going to extend your solution to this side. This is what I mean. Remember that we look at the last digit, which is 4. So we need two numbers that their square is what? 4. That ends that their square ends with 4. And that should be 2. 2 squared is 4. So because it's 2, the next should be 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. I've explained that before. Now, we cancel the last two digits. We focus on this 3. 139. What's number squared? We give us a number that is close to 139, but not more than 139. Notice that 12 squared is 144. So it is bigger than 139. That means the, the closest number is 11 squared, right? So we pick 11. So it means that the answer is either 112 or 118. So how do we now know if it is 112 or 118? So you have 11. After 11, you have 12. Now 11 times 12 will give us 132. If you want to know how I got this, I'm going to attach the video here. How to multiply any number by 11 in 3 seconds or in less than 3 seconds. Okay? So we have 132. Now, notice that 139 is larger than 132. That means our answer is the larger number, which is 118. You can press your calculator and that will be your answer. Now, this is the last one. I would like you to get the value of this using this method that I just explained. If you find this helpful, please don't forget to share and subscribe if you've not done that. Thanks so much for watching.